Hello everybody from Long Haul. Today we are boiling some sap. It's April 8th. I was going to just show my uh, setup here. Um, and there's Genevieve being really cute walking in the snow. There's a giant pile of wood for burning, for boiling sap. We have a hundred and... Uh, there's Amelia. Hi. Hi. Um, we have 141 taps in. And what we did was we just bought um, steam table pans. We got six of them. And uh, you can't see it very well, but I have some pictures on my other, um, like, of how I constructed this. But basically it's uh, two, it's two 55-gallon uh, drums, like barrels, um, that I cut out. You can kind of see this one. I cut out the uh, a spot for the... Uh, evaporator or the steam table pans to fit in with an angle grinder and then uh, just cut out a spot for the um, stove pipe to exit out there Whoop, back of the uh... and yeah it was really simple and then these steam table pans got them for about a hundred and thirty bucks for six of them off eBay that's with shipping and everything they're stainless steel NSF certified and all that stuff. So that's a lot cheaper than a comparable size evaporator pan. This is the uh, liquid capacity of this is comparable to a um, these are each 12 inches by 20 inches and the um, uh, it's comparable and they're six inches deep. It's comparable to a two foot by four foot by um, eight inch deep evaporator pan which is kind of a standard evaporator pan but those cost like three hundred dollars or more at least on ebay um it, and yeah anyway that's the uh that's the setup so i think we can fit about um about four gallons in each of these roughly um so yep boiling away seems to be pretty efficient so far Oh yeah, there's our sap collection uh, storage tank thing. Yeah. And there's the sugar bush all around. Okay. What's going on over here? What's going on over here, Genevieve? Where are you going? You going the other side of the firewood pile? Going exploring? Wow. There's a bucket on a tree. There's a bucket on another tree. Okay, this is getting too long. Bye. Oh yeah, I almost forgot to say that, uh, this is kind of obvious, but, um, I put cinder blocks around the whole setup, which I think will retain the heat better. Um, and, ooh, very hot. Hot, Genevieve. Hot. Yeah. Anyway, and it also is slightly safer for Genevieve. Um, so, just got to teach her to stay away from the door. Um, but yeah, they're actually, you can touch them. They're cold to the touch on the outside. But like in here, it's actually like really hot. So I think it's helping retain some of the heat and it kind of balances the whole setup out. Because if I would have just put, I would have been worried about the barrels rolling over, you know, without the cinder blocks there. And originally I was just going to do it just with cinder blocks, but I wanted some kind of heat shield in order to keep the cinder blocks from breaking because um, we had some friends who just set up like that and the cinder blocks just kept breaking and you could use fire bricks and mortar and all that stuff but this was cheaper and simpler. I got those barrels for five dollars each from uh, this local place that sells coconut oil. So yeah, uh, anyway, okay. Say bye-bye. Say bye-bye. 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 Bye-bye.